Hello guys, welcome back. Alright, um, it's a Kai Howie's channel here. I've got my little notes here. Oh look, look, of course the sun's coming back out again now. So. Boom. I'm going to show you some of uh, some of hidden Pembrokeshire t today. So I've, I've shown you north, south. Now I'm going to show you some places that you might not know. I'm going to show you exactly where these places are so you can go there yourself. So that's... You know, you can get in the car and go there yourself. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, if you can like the video, that'd be great. Um, first place we're gonna go to then is Bolston in Harford West, if you haven't been there. Um, so yeah, this is this is gonna be Bolston. Here we go. Right, so how, how to get there? You go to Wales, you go west, you go to Pembrokeshire. Oh, look, we're zooming in, we're zooming in. We go to near Harford West, then find Bolston. It's a lovely farm, and go near there. Once you arrive at Bolston, um, you'll you'll see a sign saying that it's the last place to park here. So, yeah, you make sure you park there. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk to where the church is. And, um, yeah. Yeah, get get your boots on. When you find this sign, you'll know that um, you're nearby then. So that's that's good. You've done well to get this far. You're not actually allowed to go inside the church. They don't really want you in there, but I'm sure if you're quiet, you, you can get in all right. Um, it's actually one of only two churches in the whole of Wales that is actually privately owned. So a little fun fact. Here we go. Here's Bolston Church now. The church is dated back to 1702. They did rebuild it in 1843. They stopped going there then after World War II, and now it's in uh, D decay now. This this parish church is, is dedicated to Saint Ishmael, and originally the private chapel to the Wogans, who were a very rich family in Pembrokeshire. In and around the church, there are fragments of dress stones and broken memorial tablets testifying to the long departed glories of the Wogan family. And there is also one slab which is richly carved with the, with the crest and coat of the arms of the Wogans. So that's a, another good bit of history there. If you are going to come here, there are a lot of, um, obviously, there's, there's, there's lots of ivy and brambles everywhere, so I'd watch out, I'd wear appropriate footwear and clothing, and um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll have a good adventure. Mm -hmm. 